up there everybody, Citrus Aviation here for yet another video and today we have Massive Unboxing number 14. I'm actually filming this part of Massive Unboxing 14 before Massive Unboxing 13 because once again Massive Unboxing 13 was, from the time you're watching this video, a single box. Pretty big one. Editing Citrus for the future, I wanted to mention that the following video was intended to be Massive Unboxing 14 with Massive Unboxing 13 planned to be the video where I unbox all the models that I was getting from the R Model Store. For those of you who have watched the video about the R Model Store, you will know that those models never came and that I never received the models from the R Model Store and the whole video talks about that situation. And so because of that, this video that you're watching now is now going to be Massive Unboxing 13. And then Massive Unboxing 14 will be some brand new models. Hints as to what they might be. So stay tuned for that. And with that being said, on with the rest of the video. But in this one, we have quite a few different miscellaneous boxes. And we're going to start with these two here. Once again, I have my Airbus 380 as scale. So these are... You know, on the smaller side for boxes, definitely not like massive or anything. But we have two boxes here today, so let's take a look at them. These are for models that I know basically none of you will be expecting me to get. The purpose for it will become obvious fairly soon. So let's unbox these. These are both JC Wings. Uh, well, they come from a seller on eBay in China, which, from what I've heard, is basically the JC Wynn's store essentially, the JC Wynn's storefront, uh, eBay storefront, where they sell um, aircraft. So or it's one, essentially it's either JC Wynn's storefront or uh, a retailer is essentially a JC Wynn's store, like the airplane stop is for giant jets. But anyway, let's take a look at these. We have two boxes, both from the same place if I remember correctly. Interesting stuff in here, I'm just going to say that. The models I don't think you all will be expecting me to buy, but they are in here. So here we go, let's take a look at these. And up top we have a thank you from the seller. And here we go. This is the model from this one. I believe these were both sipped by the same seller by bottom and separate shipments. Here we have the Wiz Air, Airbus 321. This one is in the 100th Wiz Air 321, or 100th uh, Airbus aircraft here, as you can see, JC Wings. I don't know what it is, a giant just JC Wings box. They also have this pressed in thing. I'm not sure what causes that. I've noticed this on giant jets, but some JC Wings models have this too. I'm not sure why that is. This model box seems like it has seen better days, but it was well packaged. So, Wizz Air 321, first one. So, you're probably not expecting me to buy a Wizz Air 321. As you can see, there are two of them. There's a special and the regular. I think I bought the regular, not the 100, not the 100 aircraft one, if I remember correctly. But, um, I should probably get that because for the airport that I'm going to start walking on, it needs aircraft. And this one should have, I believe, three planes in it. Which I believe it does. Yes. Ah, uh, this one I'm really excited about. Really good packaging. Once again, lots of foam and such. Alright, come on. We're gonna coax it to come out. I'm very excited about this one. Oh! Oh, that came that came down way too hard. That's not it. But here it is, very excited about this one, Air Baltic A220-300. This one is in the Estonian 100 years of independence. Level. Once again, kind of this curved bottom like it's been sat on or something. I don't know what causes that. Um, I've seen like 
some companies will put like a piece of foam or something inside the box to prevent that from happening, but this is something that would be nice if manufacturers would fix. Um, I know it seems like a small detail, but to me, that sort of thing matters. But this one looks really nice. Look at that box art. It's actually quite nice. Very nice. Anyway, Air Baltic A220 by JC Wings. By the way, these two boxes have very similar box arts, as you can see. This is what JC Wings is doing for the more recent releases, and it looks quite good, I think. The aircraft looks very, very good, so. Really nice job by JC with those boxes. Let's take a look at the next two. And these two are also European models, uh, but they are the same one. One that's kind of hard to come by, mostly because they are very highly sought after. I didn't think I'd be able to get these until I saw them on eBay at a regular price. Like, I think these were 37 something. But Phoenix Models Ryanair 737-800. Um, well, at least Phoenix Models, these are, I think, JC Wins. I don't see any branding on the box anywhere. Yeah, I assume these are JC Wins, but no branding on them. Yeah, these are the JC, if I remember. They made a release. The Phoenix ones are very hard to come by, but JC had recently made a release, so I bought these. Now, you might wonder, why would I buy four European models? Because my airports aren't in Europe. Well, the reason is because one of my airports upcoming will be in Europe, and particularly this here, Air Baltic, flies to this airport quite significantly. So, at some point, I'll announce what that airport is, but the Air Baltics will give you a big hint as to what airport it is. Anyway, let's unbox these and take a look at them. Unfortunately, I had to temporarily wait to do this part of the recording because there were people yelling at each other outside the parking lot and car horns beeping and all that sort of annoying thing. So, I had to wait a little bit to record this. But here we go, JC Wings, the Ryanair 737-800. All these are JC Wings models. And I have a couple more European models. They will actually be Hopper, two more Euro and a two more Gemini Jets European models coming. Yeah, they do have the plastic horizontal and vertical stabilizers because it is the Gemini mold. It looks like there are two registrations we could have gone for it, so really cool. I probably still picked up both rigs, but this was the one that was available, so I picked up two of them. Very happy to do so. So that's the first one. Second one should be the same plane, but just, you know, a second one of it. Should be good quality, of course, JC Wings doesn't typically have QC issues from my experience. Yep, that one looks to be fine. Uh, JC Wings, in my opinion, is superior quality to Gemini Jets. Alright, here we have the Wizz Air 321, which is in a bigger box than the 737. This box that they have in the 737 is basically the same size as the NG Models box. And then this A321 box is more the size of the Gemini Jets No Buy box, so I'm not sure what that is, but it is a thing. Okay, what's up with this? Oh, it comes from a stand. Like one of these black plastic stands, like what you get with an Aviation 400 model. That's very interesting. And it's taped as well. Very interesting packaging. And there's black felt in there too. I assume that's to protect the model when in zipping. So the additional protection is greatly appreciated. Yes, please. Thank you so much. Oh. Well, we've got a situation here. The attempt to protect the model is really appreciated, but I wouldn't have considered it very successful considering that happened. Yeah, that's a, a rough sequence right there. And just like that, just as I'm praising JC Wings for having better quality control than Gemini Kits, well, it looks like they had a Gemini Kits moment here with this uh, Wizz Air 321. You saw in the video clip there, the wings just fell out as I picked up the model by the fuselage. Uh, that's just not acceptable. Um, so it was interesting though, when I got this model from the box, it had a note saying contact me with the seller's information. So. 
I'm going to contact him and see what that's all about um, and see if uh, I can either get a refund or a placement. But uh, yeah, this is a rough sequence to uh, start off massive unboxing number 14 with for Soy. Finally, we have the model that I'm most excited for. This here Air Baltic Airbus 220 300. So let's take a look at this one. This one also comes with a bunch of felt protection in it. So that's really good to see. So this one looks amazing. I want to get all three independent deliveries. I believe Harper, JC, and Jeremy Jets all made one of the three. So there's a Lithuanian, Latvian, and Estonian 100 years of independence delivery. All three countries gained independence in 1919. Look at that, so gorgeous. Let's just, oh, this one's kind of loose. The rest seem fine. But yeah, look at that gorgeous Air Baltic livery along with the Estonian flag, the Air Baltic on the other side. This looks nice. This is the JC Wings one. Jeremy just did the Latvian independence, and I believe Hoppa did the Lithuanian independence. So I want to pick up all three, and this is the first of the three. Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, intact models. Starting here with the Air Baltic A220. This aircraft is in the Estonian Independence livery, which has the flag of Estonia, which has white, blue, and a navy color to it. So here it is. Got the nose. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it says on the nose uh, below the copper windows. But this mold is the Hopper mold with added antennas. Got the Air Baltic written on the engines. These are, I believe, the CFM engines. Motor to escape routes, the windlet, which is this nice green shade, got the registration, and we got the flag of Estonia and the tail section, so that looks really nice. And of course we have the JC Wings Ryanair 737-800, one of two. I'm not going to take a look at the second one because, well, here's the first one, and they're basically identical. Got the Ryanair text, got our three antennas, overwind emergency exit, CFM 56 engines, I believe there's Ryanair there on the windlet, just like the southwest. I believe so. Anyway, it doesn't want to focus, but there it is. Registration, which is an Irish registration, and we got the logo there. So, really nice models here. A uh, good pickups by JC Wings outside the, uh, you know, one broken one, but yeah, good models overall. All right, this next section is being filmed um, almost two months after the last one was, and I'm back from Dallas, got my dispatcher certification, and, um, yeah, we got some more models here to take a look at. The first one is one that I did, a one a trade that I did, literally just a few days before I left for Dallas. So I traded one of my three American Eagle CRJ 900s for this beautiful America West CRJ 900. Both models are of approximately equal value right now. Uh, this box here you can see has a little bit of wear, so it's been around for a while. I can even see the original barcode of this aircraft. But yeah, you can see the box. It has a little wear because it's been around for a while, but uh, the model and box are in excellent shape. Otherwise, it's mostly just got a little bit of yellowing to it, but other than that, it's really nice. Let's take a look at the model here. This is a really neat model, and it shows off the really unique America West paint scheme here. If I'm correct, this was also operated by Mesa Airlines back in the day, back in the 2000s, when this aircraft would have been seeing this color scheme. But you can see the cockpit windows, no skid door, which I believe has the fleet number on it. There's a logo there just in front of the L1 door. I can't really tell what it is here on the screen, but America West titles. And then there's the operator, which I believe says operated by Mesa by Airways. Uh, we got our forward bins, bin one and two, which has the uh, the writing there on it about how to properly open it. We got the emergency exit doors, and I love this um, wavy W's back here that they have, uh, which eventually got put into the uh, white US Airways livery, because the America West livery essentially transitioned into the US Airways livery that we had from 2004 through 2015. And you can see a lot of similar elements between the two liveries. Uh, but one of the coolest things about this is take a look at that the green wings this was something that america west did on their regional jets they had green wings which i haven't really seen on any other regional airline but the green wing wings were thin and um there's a little bit of a yellow spot there i'm not sure what that is but yeah you see the a lot of detail over here and the wind is really neat 
unique too, let me see if I can get that in focus. There's the winglet as well, you can see kind of the America West wave on there. Got the engines, a bin number three, we got some riding here, and of course we got the America West titles, and of course the green horizontal stabilizers, a few housing details. We got some stabilizer fins there on the underside to help reduce um, some wake vortexes from the wing. And then on the other side, very similar details, but no bin doors. So yeah, really neat model. I used to see these in Pensacola back in the day, and so they were really cool aircraft. So I've always wanted this model, so I was able to make a trade with um, a guy on Instagram who has a fantastic collection. And stay tuned, because I will be doing a collection video. I've never done toys of people's collections before, but this will be the very first one. So. He's got an incredible collection, particularly with a ton of really, really rare 2000s era models. This is one of them. He actually has two of these. So he didn't have an American Eagle C or not. So I traded one of my three for this one, which I don't have. So it was a very good trade. And uh, this is a really neat model too. So definitely a nice addition to the collection. And so yeah, this is the next one for the massive unboxing. While I was in Dallas, I did in fact buy a few model aircraft. Uh, the American Airlines aircraft, the four are there in the center on the left. I bought those at the C.R. Smith Museum, which is the American Airlines Museum there in Dallas, or exactly in Orvane, Texas. But yeah, these were really neat models. The American CRJ 700 and 200 scale is great. The American Eagle 170 is plenty of picked up because I've seen a bunch. The Airbus 320, I've seen that a bunch. And the 763, I would see those at Raleigh back in the day. So I picked those up. The 763 is a duplicate for me. It's my second, but uh, everything else uh, I hadn't gotten yet. But yeah, great models. I already did an unboxing video for those, so we will not be really going into those much at all. But the day before I left, I did go to Hobbytown, USA in Plano, Texas with the guy who I bought the America West CRJ900 from. Uh, we went to the, the uh, Hobbytown store together and there they had a couple really unique models. They had these two. We have the US Airways Airbus 321 and the US Airways Airbus 330 200, both 2014 releases. I believe this was June and this was in October release. Oh yeah, well, it was October. But anyway, um, pretty great models. Really interesting to see if these were still available for sale considering how long ago they came out. So considering these models have been out at stores for over eight years, I didn't realize they would still be around. Now Hobbytown does sell models at MSRP and sometimes above MSRP, so that is something you have to watch out for. If you buy from them, they can be really expensive. However, they sell models at the MSRP they were sold for at the time, which means these were really cheap. Take a look at those prices, $34.99. That used to be the German Jet MSRP price for an Airbus 321 at the time. And then the Airbus 330, $42.99. That's right, that, that used to be all at a cost to buy an A321 and an Airbus 330 in 400 scale. Now these are nearly double those prices. So let's take a look at these, see what they're like. I've never done an unboxing of these. I already have a US Airways Airbus 321. I bought it brand new back in the day. And I always wanted to get the A330-200, but I never really justified it at the time. And so recently I got the NG models for Austin, but now I'm finally getting this Gemini Jets for Austin, which means I now have every single Gemini Jets US Airways model that they made in 2014, all seven. So, really happy about that. So let's take a look here. Airbus 321 is still in there. Uh, they did let me take a look at it at the stock real quick, just to sort it was in good shape. And yeah, um, they had this, these two both were on display. So, um, I believe my uh, visit of the uh, store has already come out. So in that video, you'll see these two models in here. But these were really neat planes, and I was really surprised to pick them up. So there's the 321, and here is the 330 200, an aircraft I've always wanted to get. Hadn't gotten it till now. So here it is. Wow. And these appear to be in excellent shape, too. This one may have a little bit of yellowing on it, probably, probably because it's on display for like many years. But these models are in great shape, and particularly for the price, I can't really complain. 
taking a closer look at these, here is the Airbus 321. Well, this is on the older General Jets Airbus mold, which to me looks better than the current one. Obviously, it's not quite as good as what Panda models or NG models offers, but it's still a really good, decent representation of the aircraft type. Cockpit windows, you can see the uh, SETI ports there, static ports with the little silver, the red uh, box around them. That's basically telling you don't touch those arrows, they're really hot and they're heated. Uh, but yeah, Star Alliance logo, L1 Doi, US Airways titles, and I believe it says Airbus 321 there at the bottom of each door. Um, and of course, these had four way doors. I believe that's 162 uniform whiskey registration. It's got uh, the purple, or the almost black wheel caps there um, for the uh, wheels there. They're, by the way, the axle wheel caps for a aircraft are made out of metal. They're really solid, thick, really thick pieces, like one inch thick pieces of solid steel. Um, unlike what you might have on your car with a cheap plastic, but on real aircraft, they're really big, really heavy. And it just the, the uh, steel caps probably weigh about 50 pounds each. Um, so there's the engines, correctly sized, unlike on some more modern releases. And of course we have the US Airways logo there on the winglet. It's really neat that they printed that on such a tiny detail, yet it's on the model. And of course, as we saw the America West model, they, they basically did that little wave there, which they got inspired from the America West livery. And of course, the US Airways tail. The tail designs between the US Airways and America West liveries were really similar, but that's because essentially America West acquired US Airways, and so they brought some of their branding over to US Airways, which I think made the airline better. Next, we got the Airbus 330-200. I saw these at CLT back in the day quite often. In 2014, I think I've seen about seven or eight of these, so really cool aircraft. Uh, again, similar details, we got the parcel registration there on the gear door. Uh, US Airways titles. Now this one, they actually put the One World Alliance type Alliance logo there by the L2 door because some of these were getting the One World titles in the sort of in-between time period uh, between the US Airways merger and the full repainting of all US Airways aircraft into American Airlines colors. This one has antennas, as you can see, it's one on the top there. Got our engines, which actually have a lot of detail. At the time, the Jones Jets A330 wall was really good. You can see thrust reversals, got some warning markings, and a lot of really nice detail on this engine. And there are fan blades inside as well. The gears roll, and they tilt. The US Airways logo is on the winglet once again. The over the wing detail is actually pretty decent, including the no step in this area. Right in there, it's kind of hard to read, but it is there. Two more antennas, L3 door, registration, L4 door, and of course, APU housing details. And the tail, right there. And of course, you can see those two dots there on the horizontal stabilizers. Those are the logo lights that light the tail at nighttime. Okay, it's time for the next package. And uh, you ever been doing something, it's been so long that you've done it that you uh, are a little rusty at it? Yeah, that's how I feel about uh, making these uh, unboxing videos. I did already take out the uh, delivery slip, because obviously I don't want to sell certain personal information. <sighs> but. I don't remember everything that's in these boxes. I've got four packages, but I think this one has two models in it. Yes. I bought this from a West Coast Diecast, so here's a little thank you who put it in for me. So yeah, I bought two models uh, from West Coast Diecast here, and uh, these are ones I've been looking to get for a while. Let's show you what they are. We first have the Jeremy Jets Alaska Boeing 737. Max 9, and I've actually seen this exact aircraft, November, I believe it's 931 Alpha Mike. I saw this one in Dallas. It was coming in from Portland. It's in my Dallas spawn video if you want to see it. But yeah, this is a really cool aircraft. And 
Alaska Max, a one flight collection, one that's gonna use a bunch of airports because this aircraft is really common now in the US. It's uh, the Max has been recertified to fly and a lot of airlines in North America are flying them. So I needed to get an Alaska Max and so here it is. Second one will be of no surprise, it's a Delta model. I know, would have never seen that one coming, but uh, yes, a Delta model. And here she is, 717-200. This is a release that I don't have. I think there have been four or five of these released now. And this is the one they don't have. Actually, there's still one more I need to get, but this is one they don't have. This is the 2018 release, as you can see right there. Yeah, this is an awesome one. I have the 2013 and the 2014. I don't have the 18 and I don't have the 16, but now I do have the 18 release. So here is this aircraft. So let's open these up and take a look at them. Um, and when we refer to model aircraft by releases, we are basically referring to as when the aircraft model was announced. That doesn't mean that's when it was produced, but that's when it was announced, and that's sort of how we keep track of in the community as to which models that we got. Of course, they all have different tail numbers too, usually. This one has the Delta Belly. Neither of the first two had the Delta Belly. Oh, this one has uh, silver here too, instead of white, like the first two releases did. So there's a couple of changes here. They look to be really good updates. So yeah, this is a nice addition. I'm going to take a look at it in closer detail soon. Delta 717, I could already tell a few differences from my first two releases, so that's nice. Looks to be a nice little upgrade there. Next up, we got the Alaska Max 9, and here it is. I've seen this one at Dallas, I mentioned. And uh, this is basically the future of the Boeing 737 line, so most airlines here in the United States have ordered them. And with Delta adding them, that now means every major US airline has ordered them or has them in their fleet. So there she is. All right, taking a look at these models. Here we have the 737 Max 9. You can see the cockpit windows. You have the P.2 so in there, the little two black indications right behind the radar nose cone. We got the Alaska Airlines proudly all Boeing, which is not exactly true right now, but it's still their slogan. And within about the next year and a half, it will be true as Alaska Airlines is retiring the entire Airbus fleet. Below that, you can see the parcel registration on the door and ETOPS, which um, is the extended range operations, which allows an aircraft to operate for up to 180 nautical miles away from a soy line. We got the Alaska Airlines Tiles L1 door, uh, the bottom facing antenna, which they actually do put antennas on the bottom of these Maxes, uh, which is Really interesting because Jeremy does not like to put antennas on the bottom of the models. Got our, our lovely CM, CFM 56 engines. Wheel caps, another antenna, overwind emergency exits. The wind detail is pretty decent on the Max. And we have our split winglet here. It's not a skimmy tar winglet, but it is a winglet. Very nice design there. Really nice uh, how Alaska puts their colors on it. We have the rear emergency exit, which is required for the 900 series aircraft because it goes over a certain capacity requiring extra emergency door. Then we have the registration, November 931 Alpha Mike there, and um, well, Alpha Kilo. Um, it's kind of hard to tell, but I think that is Alpha Kilo. There's what it looks like. It's either Alpha Kilo or Alpha Mike by Sol's Aircraft in Dallas. Really cool. And then, of course, we've got chest on the tail and the APU housing detail. Really nice. Alaska Airlines livery, one of the better liveries currently flying today in the United States. Next up, we have the Boeing 717-200. This is the 2018 release with a ton of new detail add-on here compared to the previous releases. Not really much in way of nose cone detail. We can, can see it's printed there. There are some details printed around the cockpit windows. We have a uh, stag point there. And uh, this is an aircraft I walked on many times before. We have the L1 door with the emergency escape slide detail there, which is a, a panel that extends out from below the, the aircraft you can see. Sky Team logo, Delta Airlines titles. We have uh, some details here on the side, which to be honest, um, as ramp agents, we never deal with those. Those are more like panels that maintenance would access. Overwind emergency exits. And we have the little extension here on the wing that the 717 has, which is really unique. 
uh, a lot of older aircraft had it, but you don't see it anymore. We have the wingtip there with the red navigation light, and there's a white light here on the back as well. Registration, November 896 Alpha Tango, an aircraft I walked on many, many times before. Probably about 20 times I walked on this exact airplane. We have the engines here, which show the more gray detail. I think previously, the previous releases had had this area more white, but it is gray as is more the actual aircraft. Got a rear vent. Another vent up top there. Those are uh, inlets and radiators for the APU. We have the air start door. And there is another door here. That door is actually the lab service door. We got the tail section. And then you can, you can kind of see into the back of the engines too, which is neat. Um, not a whole lot of detail going inside the engines, but there are fan blades in there, as you can see. On the other side, we have, of course, uh, this should be the parcel registration, so the fleet number 95 something something. And then we have the bindoy, the delta belly, and there's another bindoy here in the back, and another service door there. I believe that is, yeah, that is the air hose door. Got two more inlets, that little black circle there. Um, on the rear of the fuselage, that is the official APU inlet, so you don't want to get any DI fluid or anything in there. And then that uh, grill back there is a radiator. We have some sort of an inlet here on the top of the engine as well. But overall, really nice model. I did pay a pretty penny for this one, but it's super nice. Also, there's a landing light right there. But yeah, really nice um, model, and I'm very happy to add it to my collection. It's a super nice plane. I really like these 717s, and I walked on them a lot. And um, it's an aircraft that will be missed when it's retired. I was just opening up a couple packages uh, with ones that wasn't soy, what the models in there are. One is a GSC box, so that'll be its own separate video, but this one has a model in it, which I'm really excited to open up. So let's finish opening this one up. Um, let's take a look at this one. This is another regional jet, it looks like. Okay, let's take a look at what this is. Oh yes, this is another, this is yet another Delta CRJ900. I know there are going to be some people disappointed that I bought yet another one, but someone offered me a good price for it. So I picked it up. This is yet another of the 2021 release Delta CRJ-900. November 821 Sierra Kilo. This is the very first aircraft I ever walked on as a ramp agent. So beyond the fact that it's a model that was really highly anticipated by collectors, it's an aircraft that is special to me personally. There you can see it is. Let's uh, open this one here. Yes, another Delta plane adds to the collection. I really do like Delta planes. So here it is. You all have seen this one in many videos before. It has its issues. Such as the landing gear being way too close. Like that. Like that's not realistic at all. Of course the horizontal stabilizers aren't supposed to be tilting up like that. They're actually supposed to tilt downwards a little bit, but you all have uh, seen those issues before in previous videos that other people, including myself, have made. So, that's that model. Uh, we'll put it aside here and do the last box. Alright, we have our last package of the video here, and it is, uh, there should be two models in here. From, if I remember, Aviation TUS, of which he gave me the uh, Spirit Airbus 320, which I'm really thankful to him for doing that. But also, uh, he was selling some models for a good price, and uh, there are some in here that I need for a couple of projects. So um, I picked some up. All right, let's open this. Okay, it looks like this was another package where he reused the box because there's another sipping label inside this one. So I will be careful not to sell that to not sell any private or personal information. <laughs> yes, we do have these in here. And he did give me a uh, discount code for Panda Fox. Store. That's really nice. And thank you so much, sir. Uh, we've got two planes in here. Let me pull them out. And here they are. We got an Iceland Air Max 8 and an Amerijet. 767-300. So, um, let's take a look at these. Uh, this box has got kind of 
uh, smoothest. It's seen better days. But the price of the model is good, so I can't explain. I need this for Raleigh, because I someday I'll start flying to Raleigh Delham, which is another reason why I'm getting the new Gemini Jets release of that aircraft as well. But yeah, this is in the old livery. Uh, the new Gemini released in their new livery, so we'll be getting that one. But here is the Iceland Air. Really cool aircraft. Uh, the box is in accessible for this, and it's not amazing, but it's uh, a few ones. And then we have the last model of this unboxing, the Mer Merajet 767. This was a March 2021 release. This is the last model from that release I still want to pick up. Uh, the Kalita Air 727 would be cool too, but it's not really in my collecting criteria. A Merajet 76. This is awesome. Look at this beautiful plane. I want to pick this up for an airport that I am doing. Which, hint, hint, is a big cargo airport, so you might see something about that in the future. We're going to start here with the Amerijet 767. And uh, this is the point where I say I think this livery is awesome. I think they have a great brand and a cool livery based in Miami. And yeah, they seem to be a really good company. They are a charter cargo service. And here we have their cockpit window. We got the three stripes, the red, blue, and red. Not a whole lot of detail on the nose gear except for the maximum tone radius line there for the uh, gear. We got the Amerijet logo there, right there, Amerijet International. We got the main cargo door. The engine. Of course, the winglet, which is really nice. Really like the little star there. And the inside of the winglet has the same detail as well over on this side. And then going down the aircraft with the three lines again, US flag, the registration, and then the same logo that we saw on Willie is on the tail. Really nice plane. I really like this one quite a bit. It's a stunning looking cargo aircraft and a nice aircraft in general. And then finally, final model we have here is the Iceland Air 737 Max 8. This is in their old livery, which I always did think the old livery didn't really fit the Max super well. But even still, we got parcel registration on the door, cup windows, field tubes. Um, L1 door. We got a little something there, blue thing by the door, which I assume is some sort of advert, advertising onboard Wi Fi or, or the product. That silver thing below the windows, I've always wondered what that is. I found out what it is. It is a static port. Um, we got an antenna down there. Uh, we got the silverish gray underbelly. We got the yellow engines, a CFM 56s with the Severons. Uh, the winglet has blue and white. It, it again, the winglet. Overall, just this livery does not fit super well on the Max, which maybe the new one does fit better, but I still like the older livery better. Registration, TCI, TFICE, and of course the inside of Winlet has the same logo that the tail does with Iceland Air Return, so really nice that they got that little printed detail there. So overall, this is an awesome unboxing. We got 12 models here. Uh, we do have the uh, JC Wings models. These are all actually Gemini Jets models, even with the JC Wings brand that's still produced in the same factory using the same molds. So, overall, this unboxing is really happy with the models. Uh, the JC Wings models are being used for a special project airport. Yes, even the broken one. Uh, the US Airways models are a really awesome pickup, uh, particularly that A330, something I've been looking for for a long time. And A321 will solve alongside my other US Airways A321 and as kind of a somewhat replacement for it because that aircraft has like a couple scratches on it and it's missing a tire up front. The Alaska Max 9, of course, an aircraft I've seen before and the two Deltas are planes I've walked on before so I really wanted to get them. The Iceland Air flies to Raleigh and the Marajet is just a really awesome aircraft. Hopefully I get to see that in real life in the near future. So that's basically it for this video. I'm going to have some nice little beauty shots of the aircraft here to finish up the video. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day and God bless you.